Hey guys, welcome to Red50. Thank you for tuning into another video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. I own a 2019 Mustang GT and make Mustang related content and as well as general automotive content. If you share the same passion of cars like me, please consider subscribing below for future videos. As you saw from the clip earlier, it was pretty cool to start my car with my iPhone. It almost feels like a luxury to be able to start my Mustang directly from my iPhone, a feature reserved for only luxury cars not too long ago. I am able to remote start my car, lock my car, unlock my car, among many other features by using this Ford Pass app. Ford Pass app is an app that is available for your Ford vehicles that connects to your car as long as you have internet service on your phone, such as Wi-Fi or data service. The app is available on iPhones and Android, and best of all is that it's free to use as long as your car is equipped with the feature. The compatibility of Ford Pass with your vehicle is mostly dependent on the vehicle's trim level. However, Ford has started to make this available on lower trim levels as well just to capture a wider audience. I will be using my 2019 Mustang GT Premium with a 401A package to show you the feature that Ford Pass app offers. In the case of Mustang, this app started as an option on 2018 and 2019 Mustangs, but you had to get the Premium Plus package which is 201A on EcoBoost and 401A for GT Mustangs. Make sure to check your vehicle's compatibility on Ford's website. If you aren't sure of it, I'll link up the website in the description box. As mentioned earlier that Ford is starting to roll this out for even lower trim levels. So in the case of Mustang uh, starting 2020 model year, it's standard on all the Mustang trims. So even the base trim, you're gonna have this Ford Pass app. So there's a good chance if you're shopping for a new Ford vehicle, you don't have to opt out for a fully loaded vehicle to get this feature. With all that being said, let's dive right into the video so you can see some of the cool features for the Ford Pass app that's compatible with my Mustang. Alright, so first thing you want to do is go to your App Store or Play Store if you're on the Android and search up the word uh, Ford Pass and you'll see this app from Ford Motor Company. You'll have an option to download it. I already have it downloaded so uh, it's giving me the option to update. You have this icon for Ford Pass once it's done. Click on it and this is where the magic happens. Obviously mine takes me to the welcome screen but if it's your first time using it, it's going to prompt you to enter your email address and password then it will send you a link to your email to activate it. Once that's done, you will be able to add your vehicle. To do that, you can either type in your VIN number or use the VIN number on your door jab and just scan it from there. Once your vehicle is added, um, you can use all these features, but just keep in mind it could take up to 24 to 48 hours for your vehicle to be added. Once you have the app open, you will be greeted with this welcome screen. This will allow you to start your car, unlock your car, or lock your car um, and various other features as you see from the bottom tab you've got vehicle, fine, account and more. We'll be discussing each of these options in a little bit more detail. Uh, most of the time you'll find yourself in the vehicle tab or home tab but the other ones are pretty useful as well if you wanted to use it. Alright so I'm going to demo the three main features on your home tab so let's try by unlocking first. So you want to hold it for a couple seconds and it's going to go into this animation mode and it takes about 10-15 seconds for it to communicate it to your uh, vehicle's PCM. Um, so as you can see, the car is unlocked and it's going to give you a notification that it's unlocked. So hit the lock button for a couple seconds and it's going to go into this animation again. Wait for 5-10 seconds and there we go, the vehicle is locked and gives you the notification. Do the same thing for start engine. Just going to do this animation thing. And there we go. So, and then you have the option to extend it too, because it's going to give you the time for 15 seconds and you can always extend it. If you hold it back again, so let's say you're not reaching your car, you can also stop the engine so you don't have to go out to turn off your car, which is pretty cool. Next up, let's look at vehicle detail, which is where a lot of cool features happen. So you've got your fuel level, your vehicle's location, you also got your tire pressure and oil life monitor as well. You can also use your hotspot there. And another cool feature is the schedule starts. So if you click on it, you're able to set your car. Like if you want to make sure your car is heated up or something, you can set it up before you leave for work, and it's going to start up automatically. And on the bottom hand, you'll see glove box, which is kind of separated to four different sections. So we've got the vehicle detail, which kind of gives you the event number, warranty information, extended warranty information, just so you have it all handy there, and it also updates your miles. If you click on vehicle support, this has your how-to videos, some of the um, features with the sync, and also your owner's manual right there. And then next up we have the vehicle health report. Since the car is connected to the app, it 
it is able to read up any faulty sensors or anything like that, any major diagnostic, it's going to let you know something's wrong and you can call your dealer right from there. Lastly, we have the collision assistance. You can either find a collision center, jot, jot down some notes for a collision when it's happening, or even call Uber or Lyft right from the app, which is pretty cool, I think. Next up, we've got the Find tab. This kind of serves as maps. You're also able to find parking, food, gas, and various other things. What's really cool about it is actually that if you're searching up for something and you know that you want to go there, you can send the direction directly to your car. Next up, you hit the More, more button there, and then you've got two different options, Ford Pass Rewards and Shopping Your Vehicles. Ford Pass Rewards is basically a point system with Ford that you earn points when you either get your vehicle, when you buy your vehicle, or when you get your vehicle service. So this allows you to accumulate points that can be redeemed for accessories or future services. And lastly, we've got the account tab at the bottom. So this kind of shows you your Ford Pass Rewards balance, your loan information such as the next payment due, when was the last payment made, how many payments are left, and your total loan payoff balance. And you also have the messaging center where Ford kind of uses it to send you promotional material and you know, whether it's a new vehicle, some coupons, or service rebates. So I think it's pretty cool to have that as well. I think it's also worth mentioning this little attention to detail that Ford has done with this app. So my car is a 5.0 with a black accent pack, and the car that you see in the app itself is the actual representation of my car with the packages. So it's pretty cool to see that. I don't know what extent Ford has gone to kind of represent that because obviously with so many vehicles out there there's so many different combinations you can have but for me to see my actual car I'm pretty happy all right guys so this about covers everything that the Ford Pass app has to offer I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new from it please consider dropping a like and subscribing to Red 50 for more videos don't forget to check out these awesome exhaust videos and some of the packages reviews I've done such as the black accent package and active exhaust so go ahead enjoy it